This video is a very, very big video, probably the biggest video on my page to date about something that has happened to me within the last week. Drum roll, please. was in a room with them, they were so funny, so friendly, the atmosphere was amazing. We have five competition winners here staring at us right now. Hi everyone. How are you doing? Hey. Hi. They all have questions for you very, very soon. And just to be around such positive people that, you know, so professional, they want to get things done, but also, you know, they don't mind having a chat with you, it was just a mind-blowing experience. Last week, Monday, Nick Grimshaw, aka Grimmy, for those of you who he announced on his breakfast show a competition to meet and interview Daniel Craig. What you had to do was recreate your favourite Bond film in a 60 second video. I started thinking, you know, okay, well what, what scene can I do? There were so many Bond films, I love Bond. I don't know where I'm going to start, you know. Um, and also the terms and conditions just said no nudity, no violence uh, and no swearing. So I thought... <laughs> that basically is Bond in a nutshell, isn't it? You're expecting all of those things. Um, and so I thought, okay, well, I can't go on the violent side and do one of my favourite action scenes. So I tried to pick something else. On Thursday morning, I was on the way to university again and listening to Fern Cotton's show. It was about half ten in the morning. And the phone just starts to ring. And I was just thinking, oh, mind, you know what? Like, okay, well, there were thousands of other submissions that it doesn't matter like that you didn't win at least you tried to do something and I was just like oh well you know and uh, yeah the phone starts ringing and I'm thinking I thought it was my sister because she never has any credit at all I mean she'll ring you and when you pick up she hangs up and so you have to ring her back so I thought it was her you know ringing from somebody else's phone and I picked up and I was like hello and um, the person on the other line goes hello it's Fiona from Radio 1 I literally, on the train, I literally like, just went crazy, like, oh, and, um, you know, tried to compose myself, almost threw my phone to the other carriage, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, hello, and all of this stuff, and she was asking me how I am, and saying, well, did you submit this video, blah, 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 and I was like, yeah, I did, and she said that they loved it, and that I'd been shortlisted to the top 25, and um, if I hear back again that I've been shortlisted to the top 15, and yeah, later on that day, someone rang me and said, you've been shortlisted to the top 15. And Friday, um, the five people that we call will definitely be going to see Daniel Craig on Monday. So keep your phone on between seven, half seven in the morning and half eight. So that night, obviously, I couldn't sleep at all. So you know those kind of, that, that kind of sleep where you're sleeping but you're not sleeping the whole time in your dream in your mind you're thinking oh i really need to get to sleep and so your your brain is just so active and i was just so excited honestly i was like a kid waiting to go to disneyland when i was waiting for this call and so i got up probably about half five waiting for grimmy's show you know to see if i was one of the winners and i told people previously like listen into radio one because i could be on there yeah so it got to around the time of the competition announcement and uh yeah, the phone starts ringing for the, the five finalists. Basically, what ha had to happen was um, you had to answer the phone in the style of Bond, and then they'd be like, yay! Yeah, two girls had been announced, and I was just thinking, there are 13 other people waiting, hoping that they're in the top five. There is no way that I'm in the top five. And then Grimmy's like, okay, if you're in the top 15, make sure you've got your phone, we're calling the next person. And I just thought, there is no way that I've won. The phone starts buzzing and I was thinking, oh my gosh, like, oh my gosh. And, and I answered it, I was like, the name's Maddox, Lydia Maddox. And they were like, woo! You know, you're gonna be going to see James Bond and Naomi Harris like on Monday. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, like, 
this is absolutely insane and I love Grimmy. Like I've watched his shows, you know, BBC Switch and the Teen Awards and other stuff that he's presented, um, especially alongside Annie Mack. And him as a person, he is so, so awesome. So to even get to talk to him was like, uh, I was just speechless the whole day. It was a really great experience. And um, on Monday, uh, I went, uh, got the train. Hello guys. So it's just gone half past six. I am at Elephant and Castle making this video. There are people around, so they probably think I'm a little bit strange. I'm going to go on the underground now to BBC Radio 1, and hopefully it'll be awesome. Right, see you later. Hello, uh, it's coming up to 7 o'clock, and I'm outside BBC Radio 1. Uh, I'm about to go in and come onto the radio live on Nick Grimshaw's show, so I can't believe it. And yeah, it's just going to be a really, really good day, and I'll make sure to film as much as I can. Yeah, then we were greeted by the producers and stuff, and we got our little visitor cards. And uh, yeah, they took us downstairs, and we went live on Grimmy's show. Ready on breakfast show with me, Nick Grimshaw, and we are just about to meet our band competition winners. Hello. Hi. Hello. We're all in the live line. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> We're in the Radio One studio. There's Grimmy like right in front of me. Hi. There he is waving. I cannot believe it. Sorry. And just talked a bit to him. And uh, while we were waiting for his show to finish, we were just sitting in the live lounge, just like, oh my gosh. Then we went on a tour of the BBC, uh, which was really cool. Van Cotton's jacket. Um, and the Instagram booth with uh, one of our winners from the James Bond competition. Here's where you take your picture. Did it earlier, was awesome. Uh, like staff members were just like what are these people doing but it was just so surreal to to see the things that you hear about if that makes sense and as we were walking out to go back down to get our bags to go to the hotel fern cotton walks up the stairs it was like oh my gosh there's fern cotton and she was just kind of looking at us like great it's gonna start again they're gonna it's gonna be that oh my gosh it's fern cotton kind of thing and um so she said hello to us, but I could tell, like, you know, it was the morning, she's kind of focused in on doing her show. She doesn't really want to see crazy kind of contestants uh, looking at her. So, yeah, she, she did say hello. We went upstairs, we went out of the BBC to uh, go to the hotel where Daniel Craig and Amy Harris were going to be. And um, up drives Aston Martins. And they're like, okay, these are your rides, is this all right? I was thinking, Number one, number one, I thought we were walking. Number two, at best, probably a taxi, and if we were lucky, a limousine. I did not expect Aston Martins to go to an interview. Like, it was so insane. And there was me with my 89p KA drink. Like, it was just a different world and um, such a great experience. And, you know, the, the guy driving put his foot down and he'd be like, you were, ah, you know your belly kind of went out of your eye sockets. That's how fast it was. And it was just so exhilarating, like, oh my gosh. And it, um, we all got really nervous when we went into the building and everyone was really welcoming. And we went upstairs and, you know, we met Andy, the filmmaker and stuff. And um, they were just, they just basically went through what would happen, you know, where we would sit. Me and the guy, Stephen, we were the tallest. So then they made us sit at the back um, on these like stool things. And um, they went through like the running order, what would happen, you know, Grimmy would lead the interview and then we'd all get to ask a question and interact back with them. And so someone comes in the room and they're like, right, they're going to be there in five minutes. And when they said that, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like your heart just starts to beat fast. Like, this is actually happening. We're actually going to meet actual James Bond, not like, uh, you know, a wax work. This is actual James Bond. It was so crazy. Then she came back in again, two minutes. And then it all went silent and they pressed record and in walks Naomi Harris and Daniel Craig. Good morning, Daniel Craig. Good morning. Good morning, Naomi Harris. Good morning. The next part was just so surreal. Like, you're sitting there staring at them like, that is actually James Bond. Like, it was so crazy. And um, after the interview and stuff like that, um, we got a picture with them and they shook our hands and they went out. Um, to their next interview because they had to do about a hundred in that day. That's not even an exaggeration um, And then it was the premiere later um, So yeah, it was just so 
as an experience, just, you know, to work with the BBC and see, like, the little camera tricks and other things that they do, I really learnt a lot through the day, and especially as an aspiring presenter, to have Grimmy right there. Like, even if the prize was to meet Grimmy and hang out at Radio 1 for the day, I still would have entered because I love the BBC, I love Radio 1, and I love Nick Grimshaw, so, like... I, the day for me, like I would just wake up every day and do that. I would replay that day a thousand times if I could, and yeah, just to be around these kind of people, it was just so nice. And for them to have seen my work and think, you know, this is hilarious or this is original, like to get those kind of comments from the BBC, isn't, it's not something you get every day. And um, yeah, it's some, it's an experience that I will definitely. Um, remember and keep hold of uh, for well, the rest of my life I think definitely and I'm hoping that I can gain more experience and continue on my media journey uh, I did actually get something in the post today which I'm about to try to find BBC Radio 1 the Radio 1 breakfast show with Nick Grimshaw James Bond special and there it is so that's something that I'm going to keep hold of uh, there's me trying to be cool but not really working um, and there's me with some of the other contestant winners I look a bit like a mong but whatever and here is a signed picture of Nick Grimshaw uh, and it was awesome you know like, and when we were going into the cars like because you know the day was over he um, oh I just held up the wrong one that's for my sister because she's a big fan as well um, but this is the one for me and um, yeah, he gave me a hug and a little kiss like before we um, uh, went back into the car. So yeah, like honestly, Grimmy, if you ever watch this video for some kind of reason, I don't know, you're bored and you're like, I'm gonna go on YouTube and see if I can find any of those videos of that Lydia girl, and you see this, please know that you are one of the funniest, most awesome people I've ever met. And I'm so happy for you in your career, your new slot. And I really hope that you continue to excel. Although, I mean, you're Grimmy. Your hair, I'm, I'm not sure whose hair was bigger. Probably mine at the time. But Grimmy, your hair is awesome. And um, yeah, it's just been so surreal. So many other things have happened. But I, I guess that this video is kind of, kind of long. Um, but yeah, I met Nick Grimshaw, Greg James, Fern Cotton, Hugh Stevens, Naomi Harris. Daniel Craig and other crew members of the BBC. I would like to say a massive thank you to the BBC for choosing my video, for allowing me to have such an amazing, life-changing experience um, and for everything that will follow. Um, it's, it is honestly, it is honestly life-changing to have that kind of experience. I don't take it for granted at all and it's crazy because the week before that Monday I was in my radio lesson and we were learning about interviews and what will happen, you know, if you're interviewed for something or uh, if you win a competition, what will happen. And to fast forward two days and to win, it was so surreal and I'm really, really looking forward to the year. So um, thank you for watching this video. Thank you to... Um, the BBC, thank you to Daniel Craig, Naomi Harris. I really know and hope that Skyfall does really well. I'm looking forward to seeing it and it's sold out everywhere, so I'm gonna have to wait a bit. But um, thank you again. And yeah, I'll be back very soon with a lot more stuff. Bye. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> Lydia. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Hello. I'm Lydia from London. If you were reincarnated as a computer with only enough memory space for one Bond girl, who would you save and why? Wow. wow. Good question. <laughs> I'm here, Thank by you. the way. I know. Daniel, yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah. I saw that. Probably now. I've got to yeah. work with her again. <laughs> <laughs> and she's trained as well. Yeah, so she, she is. Could, she'll probably kill him. <laughs> thank you. Uh, well, guys, thank you for talking to us. Thank you. Thank you for all your questions as well. Yeah, thank thanks you. very thank much. You. They well were great. Really good questions. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Naomi Harris and uh, Daniel Craig, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. I'm on my way home after. Um, 
Being at Radio 1 for the day is absolutely amazing. I cannot tell you the amount of people that I met, how inspired I feel right now. Everything that happened and um, everything happens for a reason, seriously, and I believe that and I honestly do thank God that I've been able to have this kind of opportunity such a random time and I just can't wait to do more.